Hello! And happy holidays. Today we're gonna watch some Yule Log videos, the fireplace videos that you turn on around Christmas time when you don't have a fireplace and you wanna feel a little sense of warmth and jolliness in your household. We also have a very special guest that's highly requested in the comments coming in today to review some of these Yule Log videos with me. So stay tuned for that. Let's review some Yule Log videos. All right, so let's search for Yule Log. This is Fireplace Full HD, 10 hours crackling logs for Christmas. So let's check that out. I like this sizzle in this one. This is like, this is probably the one that I would choose to put on during Christmas when you're opening up Christmas presents or you know, just, just having your family all around would be really nice on like a huge plasma screen TV or something, especially if it's next to a heater. The crackle is so satisfying. That feel, that makes me feel real warm and toasty. Like I feel like pulling out some marshmallows to toast right now. How long is this? This one's 10 hours long. I wonder if, it, if they actually recorded this for 10 hours, because I feel like no logs in existence could ever last more than like four hours. So they probably loop it at some point. I feel like the, the crackle actually at this point is a little loud for me. If I just had this on in the background, I'd probably have it on mute. The crack, this is the crackle is a little bit too much, too, just, just too much. Ooh, if you looked closely, you could actually see there was an ember that went up the chimney and it stopped on a, a brick in the back. Yeah, I don't know. This one's not quite for me because the crackling is just a little too loud. So let's go back. Uh, this one right here is eight hours Christmas music instrumental fireplace Yule log upbeat guitar carols playlist star. So that one looks like it could be pretty good. Oh, this one. Has not a fan of that one, really, just because of the music in general. I feel like I could put on my own music. I want to have my sound system over here on the TV. I want to have the fireplace going with, without whatever they put in it. All right, so next here, we got um, classic Yule Log fireplace with crackling fire sounds in HD. That's important. Whenever I'm looking for stuff, um, I always got to make sure it's in HD. You don't want to put on some standard def because then you can't even let your mind trick itself into believing it's a real fireplace. Mm. I already immediately am a little bit turned off by this one because it's a little bit too yellow toned. And there's not much depth on these flames. It's just, the flames are just yellow and then white. When I see flames, I wanna see all the tones of the reds and the oranges and the, and the yellows and whites. It needs to, I need to see the whole red hue of the rainbow. Mm. But it is it is kind of interesting when you look at fire like this. Like there is a part of you that wonders, you know, what what is fire? You know, it's just it's just energy, but yet it's it I feel like fire is just a very difficult thing to describe. If I looked it up, I'm sure I could explain it, but just like a, a very layman's definition of fire. It's energy. It's energy and therefore you feel the heat because the molecules are moving so quickly because the energy is Well that that's where you feel the heat. Never mind. I'm not I'm not gonna get too uh, deep into that. This one's growing on me. This one is growing on me a little bit. I feel like this has the right, the right audio, the right amount of crackle, the right amount of snap, the right amount of pop. It's like, um, this is like the perfect Rice Krispies treat in terms of sound. God, the audio, like it makes, it really tricks me into believing there's a real fireplace nearby. But 
the visuals, the log is too dark. You can't really see the shading, the depth, the texture. And the flames are just too bright. I feel like the camera just wasn't quite good enough to, to shoot this. And there was a fade. There was clearly a fade there. It's only been two and a half minutes. So they only recorded this log for two and a half minutes. And there's a fade there. You don't want this on your TV. You don't want to accidentally be, be looking at Grandpa Joe and see a fade in the background on this fire. You want something that, that at least, I, I, like I know that it's not going to actually be 10 hours, or in this case, two hours. But you want the illusion to be there. <sighs> I'm just gonna switch this one up a little bit. I gave that one a chance, I went a little longer. And I probably could have. Oh, here's Nick Offerman, uh, Yule Log 10 hour version. So this one was three years ago. There's an intro. Whole bunch of Nick Offerman stuff. My Tales of Whiskey. So he opens up a book and we go into the book and we see a fireplace with a log roasting. And it zooms out. And Nick Offerman's just going to town on some whiskey. <laughs> and he's just sitting here. Is he uh, doing anything? Hmm. This isn't bad. I mean, you know, I like Nick Offerman just as much as the, the next guy, but I feel like he's got to do something, you know? He's got to pique my interest a little bit. You got the fireplace going here. This would be something that you'd want to turn on uh, if you have any family, uh, just any relatives in general that love Nick Offerman. This might be a good choice. But otherwise, it's the, the fire is too small. It's in the background, it's tiny. And you could tell that that fire is gas powered, which turns me off a little bit. I need a, if I'm gonna watch a fireplace video, like I want, I want that Yule Log to video to be, to be a genuine, realistic fire. You know, I, as someone who lives in California, I haven't been able to enjoy a fire in a long time. You know, it's, it's kind of meant something different to me. So I wanna see a fire that's real but controlled. And I don't want it to be gas powered. Something about the fact that it's gas powered really turns me off. I'll get I'll give it a couple couple I'll just give it a minute. I'll, I'll watch it to see if anything happens. I don't know, is he just, is he gonna blink? Is he gonna, he's, so he is blinking. I just noticed there is a blink. But is he gonna do anything? Like, is there any sort of entertainment value to this video or is he just gonna sit here next to a Yule log doing nothing? You know, who, who took the time to make, why did he take the time to make this video? Did he, who edited this? Why would anyone want to watch this? It's just, how long is this? 10 hours, that's too much time. That's too much time to do nothing just for a gag. You know, at least bring a little entertainment value to this. Okay, he's sipping on the whiskey. He's sipping on the whiskey. He looks like he's a little intrigued. He enjoyed it, he uh, swished it around his mouth a little bit. Did a little uh, thing so you could get the full sense of all the, uh, the aromatic um, intricacies of the whiskey. Clearly I'm not a whiskey drinker. So this is what he does. 
I'm just going to skip forward in this video and see if he uh, does anything else. So I'm going to go to hour 45. Oh, he's there again. He's just sitting there. I'm going to skip forward a little more. Hour and 10. Oh, he's crossed his legs. So he really does go for a while here. What do you think this shoot looked like? Did he... Did he show up and know that he was going to be here for multiple hours doing nothing? Like, at least have a little bit of content, you know? Bring something forth that's new. I would never do something like this. All right, I'm just going to skip forward to hour number five. That was a loop. There was a loop. He's gone back to sitting in the same position that he was at the beginning. So there is a loop here. It's fake. He didn't actually sit here the whole time. I was on board until I realized it was fake. If you're going to do it, just do it. You know what I mean? Nick, my man, just do it for real. I'm going to the next clip. Love you, Nick, but bye-bye. All right, so this next one here uh, is actually a live stream, and there's 7.1 thousand people watching it right now we're gonna join in on instrumental Christmas music with fireplace 24 7 hyphen Merry Christmas exclamation point hmm. This one makes me feel nice. This one makes me want to cuddle up with some blankets right next to the fire. Maybe fall asleep and accidentally roll over into the fire and cremate myself. This one's really nice. Visually, I love this one. You can see the depth in color and shading and texture on all the logs. You can see the full depth on, on the flames as well. It's not too blown out. But I'm just gonna go back to, to what I've been saying and I, I feel like you can't add in music over this. It needs to just be a nice, subtle, crackling sound that feels realistic. If I want music, I'm gonna turn music on elsewhere. My Christmas decorations are okay, don't worry. I'm gonna watch this one for a little longer because it's, it's actually live right now. Oh, there's a, there's a chat. Let's read a little bit of the chat. We got people from Holland watching. We got people talking about beer from their country. This is just a really nice way to bring people together from all around the world. So I, you know, I, I like this video. I'm gonna click like because I like that video. I like that a lot. All right, so now we got Darth Vader Yule Log, five hours. So there's gonna be Darth Vader Yule Log, five hours of it. So this is the scene where they are burning Darth Vader's helmet. Sorry, they're burning all of Darth Vader. I knew that. So this would be something that's really nice to put on uh, with your family when when you're just sitting around maybe you're opening up some Christmas presents or checking out your Hanukkah gifts or just eating a nice uh, rump roast I like this I like this a lot this cra the crackling sounds you can really hear the entire volume of of the, the energy behind this fire. Ooh, you hear that? There's, there's like some crickets in the background or something and it just feels really cozy. It like sounds like a campfire. Ooh, that's nice. I like the sound of this one and the depth is really great too.
I could watch this one for a little while. If you don't mind, I'm just going to let this one play for a good 10 seconds or so. I feel like I can feel some heat from my laptop. Like, I don't know if it's some kind of placebo effect or what, but I can, like, my brightness is full blast. My computer is kind of working hard to play this video. I don't know what it's doing inside this metal casing, but it's doing something to get hot. Feels nice. Feels warm. I'm just watching this a little bit more to give just I want to make sure before I give like a full review on this thing that I've really watched enough of it to understand it. I'd give this one an eight out of ten. Uh, I I really like this one. The like I said, the sounds are really great, they have a lot of depth. The the color and the texture that my only problem is that you can't see the logs on fire because Darth Vader's uh, limp dead corpse is blocking the, the logs, which is kind of a, just kind of loses a few marks in my book, but otherwise it's a great video. Uh, great job, who uploaded this? Benjamin Apple uploaded that one. That's a good one. All right, next here we're gonna go to this one. Uh, 4K, so this one's in 4K if you have a 4K TV. Relaxing fireplace and the best instrumental Christmas music and crackling fire sounds. Uh, Ultra HD for two hours. Ooh! That one is nice. You could even see the blue textures there from the hottest part of the flame, which you usually lose uh, with all the cameras that we've seen shooting all these things previously. Why did they add the music? I did not want to hear music. I want just a fire. This is the best visual of a fireplace that anyone has uploaded on YouTube. When was this uploaded? This was uploaded two years ago and it still has the best visual quality of any fire I've ever seen on YouTube. But then they ruin it by adding this lullaby music. It's not... I don't find this music Christmassy. I find this just to be music that you'd play over, like in a baby's crib to get it to go to sleep. I'm just gonna watch it for a little while longer because I enjoy the visuals so much. The depth in this is so incredible. It's so HD. I don't know what this was shot on. I love it. It's music though. Is this Christmas music though? I don't know if I'm just ignorant or what, but this doesn't sound like Christmas music to me. Does anyone else find Christmas music to be dystopian? Like, I feel like this is the type of music that would be playing nonstop in my head if World War III happened and I was, everything in my life was destroyed and I was sitting there in my house of rubble with nothing but my own thoughts and fear of Immortality creeping into my mind nonstop. No, just me? Okay. Um, hold on. So I'm gonna open up another one. Okay, so this one, did they just re-upload this video? Is it the same video? It's a different video by the same people. Uh, it used to say, the, the other one says the best Christmas fireplace, and this one says the best relaxing fireplace. So maybe they won't add the music? Ooh, this is a better fireplace. I like this fireplace a lot. Why did they add the music? I'll just, I'll give it a chance. I know. I haven't been the best with the, the music and I've just been kind of 
spewing hate, and I'm sorry, I know this should be a positive video. I'll give it a chance. God, the visuals are so nice on this one. I really like the visuals. Wow, I could look at this all day. This looks like CG because it's so high quality. This is the highest quality picture I've ever seen, honestly. This looks like it's some kind of intro into like a new Lord of the Rings movie or something. You can see every detail and all the cracks and crevices on these on these bricks. And every detail and on all the the cracks in in the logs that the, the fire is roasting right now. And the ash and the coal. Wow, this is the best fire I've ever seen. If you're out there and you're looking for a good fireplace to play, I highly recommend searching up 4K Relaxing Fireplace Ampersand, the best instrumental Christmas music, Ampersand, Crackling Fire Sand Sounds, Fire Emoji, UHD 2 Hours. Really, really good video. I'd give this one a 9 out of 10. I'm just, the only thing keeping it from a perfect 10 out of 10 fireplace Yule Log video is this music. Don't add the music. I just want the nice sounds to make me feel warm and welcome and jolly and Christmassy and Hanukkah-y and holiday-y. <sighs> I'm finding it really hard to click away. I want to go review other Yule Log videos, but the visuals are phenomenal. I don't know if you could get any better than this in terms of visuals. If I met the person that made this on, and I knew what they looked like and I saw them on the street, I would have to stop them, give them a handshake, and say, dear sir or madame or non-binary person, I love you and I will kiss the ground you walk on, but please remove the damn music. It's horrendous. I don't need to hear that. All right, with that said, we'll go back, we'll go back. All right. So let's see now, oh, this is the, the actually the most viewed one that we've seen so far. Five million, one million. So this one is the, the most popular one so far, uploaded four years ago by Lullaby Baby, uh, titled Star Eight Hour Star, Best Fireplace HD 1080p Video Star Relaxing Fireplace Sound Star Christmas Fireplace Star Full HD. Um, let's see why this why did so many people gravitate toward watching this one? Why is this one so much better than the rest? Let's uh, let's take a look Okay, look at that no music no music Uh I want to watch it for a second before I give any kind of reaction. I don't want to jump the gun here. Okay. 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 
All right, I'm kind of getting the gist of this one. Um, I I love the audio. The, it sounds perfect. Not not really the biggest fans of the visual, and it's not because the visuals aren't high definition, because they are, they're very high definition. There's a lot of depth in the fire. It's not blown out. Um, you can see all the detail in uh, the charred log, which is slowly becoming just hot coal. Um, you could actually even see some of the heat waves in, in the bottom middle region here. If you look closely, you could see the heat waves radiating heat, which is really cool. I feel like that really gives you a sense of actually being there with that fire. Uh, but my, my biggest complaint is really the framing of this one. It's, it's a little bit too close for my taste. Like, I want to see the, the tips of the flames. I feel like that's part of the magic of seeing fire, is seeing those tips waving. But yeah, they cut it off too close. Like, when I think of a fireplace, I think of the fire more than I think of the actual logs roasting. More than I think of the, the hot coals, I think of the fire. So if you're gonna do a fireplace video and you're gonna crop out the top, I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose. And, and the visual, visuals aren't as high definition and detailed as the other fire. Like the last one, you can see hints of blue in it, which I'm actually going back on now and I'm wondering if that was, like how, how is it blue? Like was that CG? Was that gas powered? I've never. I don't think I've ever seen that much blue as I've seen in the last video um, in a real fireplace. Like this does look more like a legitimate real fireplace than um, than the other one, but it's still not as pleasing to me. It's very real, but not as pleasing. This one I'd give a solid seven out of ten. So you know, it's, it's still a good video. Not not a complete turn off but also not, not necessarily quite as good as the other videos. Um, but I mean, go ahead, come at me in the comments. Let me know if you disagree. Uh, let me know which fireplace video you've thought was the best so far. Not saying I'm gonna disagree, but there's a chance and I'd love to, to see some discussion about which, which fireplace you log video has been the best so far to you personally. Um, and I'd like to know why. You know, do you also agree that there shouldn't be music? Uh, do you, like, which one's more important to you, the visuals or the audio? To me, I think uh, the visuals are a little bit more important, but the audio is very, very close second. It's almost just as important for me. And that's why if, when, when you add the music, it kind of covers it up too much. And just, just generally not my favorite. Hmm, okay. All right, so now we're gonna move on. Uh, there's a very happy Yule log here. It looks like it's it's got some a, a dog and a cat in front of it by the preview here. Generally, I don't really like Yule log videos that um, have other things in it than just the fire. But let's see, let's see what's going on here. Oh, there's music. Why did you add the music? There's no reason to add music. This is outrageous. I would never turn this on. This is, this is, this is a disgrace. This is horrible. I love the cat, I love the dog. They're so cute, they're well-trained. They're, they're just chilling there next to each other, happy little buddies. Everyone loves a cat getting along with the dog. Oh, that dog's so cute though, he just laid his head down. Oh, that cat with his little paw out. Oh, I love it so much. I love this dog, this so, so much. I love, okay, I love what's going on here, but they destroyed it with this audio, this music, the sound. Oh, I'm just gonna skip through it. I love this video. The cat is so cute. The cat is so cute. Uh, oh my God, the cat is so cute. Oh, there's other sh shots here. Whoa, the dog just walked past the screen. <laughs> and guys, we're gonna have our special guests come on soon. I just want to watch this video first. Just let me get through this one video. I'm gonna finish reviewing this. 
and then our very special guest who's actually here waiting uh, to come in uh, will join us in just a second after I finish reviewing this video. So hold on just a moment. It fades, it fades to other things which I'm not the biggest fan of. Oh! Was that a cut? Was that a clear cut to the beginning? Or no, 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 no. No, eight minutes in, guys. Oh my god, the dog is so cute. I'm so bad with dog breeds. I don't know what kind of breed that dog is. Is that a uh, terrier? Is that a terrier? Was the cat a tabby? I'm so bad with with cat and dog breeds. But I am proud of myself for, for knowing that they are in fact a cat and a dog. Is Okay, here's my question. I, I You turn on, you turn on a Yule Log fireplace video because you want the, the Yule Log, you want the fireplace. But why, why is it so small in the frame? Like, I just feel like I'm, I'm kind of creepy looking in on someone else's decorated house more than I feel like I'm like enjoying a fire. This is just creepy. This has gotten, this has gone from an, an enjoyable experience, slightly annoyed with the music, but enjoyable experience watching a very cute dog and a very cute cat. So just feeling like I'm watching someone else's house and feeling very uncomfortable about that. These horns, this music is atrocious. Skip. Oh, this music's not bad, but it's still too loud. Oh my god, I just skipped forward and a cat was there. That is a cute cat. I think that's a tabby cat. I think that's a tabby cat. Please let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. I feel like I'm gonna need to know what kind of cat and dog this is at some point in the future. Maybe it'll be my million dollar question on who wants to be a millionaire or my Jeopardy question. I don't know, but it's gonna happen at some point. So please let me know, I need to know. All right, I feel like I've gotten a general gist of this one. I'm going to go back. The music was really upsetting. The music was upsetting. I'd say that one was a seven out of 10, even though I enjoyed many aspects of it. I didn't enjoy the music really and how far away it was. I feel like if it, it was a close-up of the fire with the animals just right there in the foreground that might be better. 7 out of 10. All right um, I'm ready for the guests to come in. I'm ready. Are you ready? Special guest would you like to come on in? Toast to you. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas everyone. This is Tennessee Luke. Uh, you guys have all been begging for him to come on this channel for a while. It's been a while since I've seen you. Right, Santa Claus has been keeping me busy on the North Pole. What have you been doing with Santa Claus lately? Uh, arranging gifts. Arranging them? Yeah. Like, what does that consist of? <laughs> I don't know what that means. All right. We're going to uh, review Yule Log fireplace videos. Have you ever seen these videos? Fireplace videos? Yeah, you, you turn on the fireplace when you don't have your own fireplace at home uh, and you want to feel uh, warmth and a sense of Christmassy holiday magic and you turn on a fireplace video and just have that playing in the background of your dinner party or Christmas morning when you're opening up presents. And you're imagining this? No, there's a real fireplace, but you're you're kind of imagining the warmth. All right. All right, so I'm gonna scroll down to this one. This one's called Classic Christmas and Holiday HD Yule Log Fireplace, uh, featuring 90 minutes of music. This one was uploaded two years ago, has 702,000 views. You ready? Okay. I'm going to mute that music because it's copyrighted and I think that my video might get taken down if I have it. But just imagine that that music's there. What do you, um, what, what would your review be of this? How do you feel? Well, that song I practiced once with a girl and had her do her half and we had it down perfect. Uh -huh. And then when we came to show, she didn't show up. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. But it took a long time to get that 
coordinated with the girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I still have the copy of that. Oh, I interesting. Think. Cool. We should check that out sometime. Mm -hmm. Would you want this on on TV uh, in the background of your holiday festivities? I think it would be a good fireplace for a real movie because it looks like a real fireplace, but it's gas, right? Um, I think we can assume that one's a gas-powered fireplace. It does. It does look like a gas-powered one. Yeah. So would you want to play a video if you had a choice of any? Would you want it to be gas powered or, or a standard real fire place? If I had to do it in a movie, I would like uh, gas. Right. Gas what what if you just gas. turned it on and you were imagining, you know, you just turn it on. Yeah. Is this what you would turn on? Would you choose this one? Yes, I think I would because the cleanup on the other kind mm. you know i don't know if you knew this but when i was five years old mm -hmm. i lived on a sorghum plantation and we had sorghum a sorghum 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 molasses mm -hmm. and we had a huge fireplace like this it was even bigger than this and i had to get up every morning at 4 30 a.m in the morning mm -hmm. and tote logs to a fireplace like this and so the whole family had seven beauty queen sisters older oh, than me. Yeah. Right. They could get up and get warm and they get breakfast by the fireplace mm -hmm. every morning. So you uh, you prefer gas power because this, if it's a normal log, it might remind you of those difficult mornings getting up early and doing that. So the gas powered kind of helps you forget that. Right. It's a little ease to your mind. And you had to clean it out with the yeah. shovel. Mm -hmm. And it was a big job just to get that fireplace going. Yeah. So what would you rate this uh, this clip of the fireplace on a scale from 1 to 10? I would rate this one around 10. 10? You think it's a perfect 10 for you? It looks very original. You know, yeah. I didn't know it was gas until we looked at it for over right. 60 seconds. Right. So it's, it's a good thing that we looked at it for so long because you might not have known. It might not have brought you that sense of joy. Wouldn't have known. All right. So we're going to scroll down to uh, this one called... Christmas fireplace scene with crackling fire sounds six hours. I can imagine this one's going to be even better, but let's yeah. see it. Let's yeah. look at it. It's got even the crackling on it. Yeah, you could hear some crackling. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's it. That one's nice, right? Mm -hmm. it, I feel like if they had a better camera, they might have been able to get that sense of... You know, when you look at a fire, you see reds, oranges, whites, sometimes a little blue... But in this one, it's all just looking white. And I, that kind of is a huge turnoff for me when I'm looking for uh, fireplace uh, videos to play on a TV. Because I actually do this. I do turn on a fireplace uh, video like this when I'm somewhere and I want to feel cozy, but there's no fireplace. I see. So I want to be able to see that detail in the fire. And there's none of that there, which is kind of disappointing. Do you get the real warmth from that? Well, you could just imagine it. Maybe you put it next to a heater. And it kind of gives you that illusion. Because whenever I fixed it for the girls, we got this huge heat wave. Right. Um, so, it, yeah, it's not quite as good as the real thing. Mm -hmm. But what do you think about it? Is it too far away? Like, would you want this to be on a big screen? I feel kind of like it's a little bit too small in frame. Right. Too small in frame. And also, it needs to make it make you believe it. It needs a fire covered screen. Right, because so this is clearly fake, or else they would be scared about these fire. I mean, these presents catching on fire. You hear that pop? Yeah. When it's a real fire, those sparks hit that screen. Don't get on your rug or right. your wooden floor. Right. So, do you think this is a gas powered? Do you think it's fake, or what do you think? Gas powered, and all you need is a. a Bear fur rug in uh -huh. front of it with a nice looking little lady, a cup of tea, and you're there. Um, so what would you rate this video? I think I would give it, I think I'd give it a six out of ten. It's a little bit too far away in frame. There's not a lot of depth and color, but the audio is great. I love the crackling. All right, I'll give it a eight. 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 Yeah. What's your That's reasoning? Better. Oh, it's got the Christmas decorations They're really with the nice. trees yeah. and the little stockings. Mm -hmm. And what's this called? A wreath? That in the middle there? I don't know. It looks like it has a little smiley face on that. It's, uh, a, it's a bow. I think it's a bow. Take a look. I thought it was a wreath. It looks like a bow to me. With the bow in it. Yeah, it looks like it's got a bow. I don't see a wreath on there. 
It's got some presents below there. Dude, there's lots of presents. The the trees are lit. The trees are lit. Yeah, so I'll give it a nice. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. but it's a little dark around the edges. Doesn't yeah. it seem a little dark? It, it makes you look closer. Like here, it really looks dark. Yeah. And if you look like this, then you begin to see the Christmas packages. Yeah. The lights on the tree. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a reef with a bow. You think that's a wreath? To me, it just with looks a, like just a bow. With a bow and probably a candle in the middle. Oh, you think it's a candle? Mm -hmm. That's what hmm. it All right, so let's take a look at the next one here. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one looks good. Well, that one really looks real. Which one? This one. This one here? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to click on that. That's kind of. Now, that's what we look like I, when I fixed it. That's kind of. Yeah. The way I would fix it. Oh, this one's got copyrighted music in it, so we'll turn that off. This one's a Michael Bublé Christmas Full Deluxe Special Edition Yule Log 4K HD. They are uh, one, two, three, four. Four logs? Five. Even. Five logs? Yeah. Five, five big logs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you think about this fireplace? I think if you were sitting in front of it, you'd have to take off your shoes after yeah. a while. It's a little bit too warm. It would be. Look, that looks like a, a, a roaring fireplace. It looks it looks like it might be a little warm. Can you here hold your hands out and imagine that it's giving That's you warm? That's what I noticed. Also, it kind of it kind of hits something in your head, right? It is. It's like a placebo. It is coming to your fingers. Yeah. The other one, when I put my face close to it, to did look, you feel warmth in my face? But I didn't yeah. say anything about it. Yeah, it now does. You, you do feel that. Right. Since you said something about yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. That's a nice one, but I I have a problem with people adding music over these. I'm not a fan of adding music to these, uh, everyone watching this already knows I've been getting uh, really TO'd about the music that's been added. And it's really frustrating, because there's so many good visuals, but not as good as, what, what were you gonna say? Did you see this light here on this side? On I the got, left side there, that light? It made me think that this is real. I think this is a real fire. Oh, it is. I think this is just a video camera someone took of a real fire. All right, I can believe that. Yeah, but there, the, there, there, see, see the way it came up? Yeah, like yeah, that. and it's like, it's getting brighter. It's real, this is a real one. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know though. It's too dark on the logs. I can't see the detail. It's too dark, but I yeah. love it. Yeah, but there's no audio. I'd, I'd give this one a five out of 10 oh. because it's too dark and they added copyrighted music over it. No kidding. I, I going up to a nine. You think that's a nine? Why do you think it's a nine? Because of this, the way. That oh, there's a fade. Did you see that fade? Yeah. That wasn't a real. Look, I'm gonna go back five seconds. Watch. There's a fade here between the video clips. See, they masked, they dissolved one image into the other, which did means they? that this video clip is only two minutes long, and then they faded in another one. I didn't know that. I, if I were to watch one of these and throw these up on the TV, I would want it to be a longer <laughs> clip. I don't want to see fades every two minutes, you know? I see what you mean. Yeah. But I didn't see it now. You, because you see it, because you make hundreds of films. Mm -hmm. a, a amateur wouldn't have known that. I never saw that until you mentioned it. But you saw it. it now, right? Yeah, I really saw it. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't know. So I was going to give it around an eight or nine. Right. Now I guess from a seven or yeah. six. Yeah, because it's down. it's kind of, you feel you feel a little bit ripped off. You see that fake? Yeah. yeah. By the way, I really like your festive outfit that you have today. Did you already own this? Um, my grandfather, who invented the forward pass in football. Right, you're telling me about that. Your grandfather was the one that invented forward pass. From Vanderbilt. Yeah. This was his jacket, and he gave it to my father, and my father gave it to me after he passed away in the will. Really? So I called today to get it refurbished. Whoa, you see it looks really good. It's, it's about 100 years old or old. This is beautiful. This is a great jacket. This uh -huh. is really nice. And I'm going to get it refurbished on 7th Street by Main, Main Street and 7th. they got a little place there. So it, did, it, you, did you already get it refurbished or are you going to? I'm going to. I called uh, them today when I put yeah. it on. Because you can see a little bit here. This oh, is yeah. ripped a little yeah. bit. Is this side good? It's used. Yeah, this side looks good though. But they will fix it all up. It'll look really nice. By the way, your fingernails look really nice. Did you oh, get a manicure? Okay. I did this myself. It looks really good. Now, Can you when, see this? When you go into like a uh, Best Buy or Target, I got the, they have these little things, you know, to do your nails. Oh yeah, like a manicure kit? So you, 
do you get just the gold one? Mm -hmm. There's only one. It's the gold, and it's you see how it allows the sides mm -hmm. to go. So whenever it's contoured, yeah, so when yeah, you yeah. do it, you can get the sides, and then uh, since I had some problems with my hands and the nails mm -hmm. playing video games. I got that clear that makes you makes you Superman strong. Mm. Oh yeah, it looks it's, great. It's clear. They look really strong. Can Uni I touch it? Unisex. Ooh, that's a hard nail. That's like really strong. It's unisex. So did you hurt your thumbs while playing too many video games? That's what I did. What happened? What what games were you playing? Uh, war games. War trying, games. Trying, Which one? Oh, uh, Man of War. And, yeah. Uh, the most popular ones. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Yeah. I remember I my biggest injury that I've gotten playing a video game was the original Mario Party on Nintendo 64. There was uh, this part where you had there's a joystick on those controllers. Do you remember those controllers? Yeah, yeah. And there's a little plastic joystick, and there was a, there was a tug of war game where you had to spin the thing as fast as you could go, and it ripped the uh, one layer of my skin off. I got a huge blister right here, and it just ripped that layer off. Okay. It was bad. But you hurt your nails or yeah. your fingers? Right? Fingernails. So I'm thinking about getting the shot right into the bone and it deadens the skin. It's a nerve you're, shot. You're getting shots to, I, to kill your nerves? I'm thinking about it. That's interesting. Tell me more about that in a little bit. All right, so the next thing we're going to pull up here is Cozy Christmas Yule Log Fireplace with Crackling Fire Sounds. I like that. All right. um, I'm not a fan of the music. So if this one has Crackling Fire Sounds, this might be a good one. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's cute. This one's nice. He's really got the crackling. Yeah, the sound, the audio on this one is pristine. Now that's what I tried to build. You know, that other one I showed you all those sticks. Yeah. I told you all those sticks. Yeah. But I tried to do this one. Get some smaller sticks than the last one all going at once and then put a big log on there. Mm -hmm. You don't have to mess with it any longer. Mm -hmm. So how good are you at building fireplaces? Uh, I'd say about a hundred. Cause like, a hundred? Yeah. A hundred out of a hundred or what? What Ooh, is that rating system? Man, I must have built a fireplace 365 days out of the year. Really? For three years. So how good are you now? Cause you, so you've made over a thousand fireplaces. That's what I would say uh, growing up. About a hundred. Yeah, I can make it real good. Damn. I'm I'm not that great at, at building fires. It takes me way longer than it should. If I'm gonna make a fire and I already have the the wood and everything, it will probably take me twenty minutes to build a fire. That's a long time, right? Right, right. It takes me a while. How long would it take you to build a fire like this? Uh I'd say fifteen minutes then. Mm. Oh really? Fifteen minutes? So even, even at your level, it still takes a while? Yeah, 15 minutes. I wouldn't, mm. because you got to have the kindling going before mm -hmm. you put that big log on it. You put that big log on before that kindling's up, and you are out of it. Right, right, right. It will right. smother it right away. Yeah. Okay, well, let's take a look at this. I haven't noticed any cuts yet, but I wasn't paying really that, uh, that much attention. Have you noticed any cuts or fades or dissolves or anything? Mm, haven't. Not yet. Haven't. I'm not a big fan of how, how little depth you can see in the fire, though. This one, just like um, the last one that we, we looked at, it, there wasn't much depth. It's all just white. A big flame on the top, so you know you're going to get a lot of heat from this. That's true. You do feel a lot of a, a huge sense of warmth and coziness. Definitely. Here. But again, this is a little bit zoomed out for my taste. I want I kind of want just a big fire... I don't, I don't necessarily need the gifts and the candle. Oh, there's a cut there. Watch, watch the candles here. Do you see that? Mm -mm. Do it again. Watch the candles. Cut. I saw the airflow. The air, it went like this. Oh yeah, the airflow. Yeah, but here, I'll go back again. Well, what do you think's causing that? Do you I think don't know, I think they're cutting the video because they only have like a minute or two of footage and then they're cutting it and playing it over and oh, over. I see what you mean. Yes, they are cutting it. That, that Those candles wouldn't have no reason to, unless a fan was going on. Right, because it goes from little windy and it goes right straight up. Okay. Right there, you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So that immediately knocks it down a few pegs for me. I think it went from a uh, an eight, it, it knocked it down to about a six. Six? Yeah. All right, I like the background of it. Uh -huh. You see that he's he's kept it clean, like if. That's true. It does look it does look really nice in there. It's not too charred. It's got the red bricks. Red or, bricks. Um, you can see so many uh, details, which is great. But the fireplace details aren't aren't really up to my standards. Even these gas. Uh, Fireplaces need a screen across it. Is this a screen over here that he can pull? I don't see any screen. I think he, I think this person took the screen off. Y you know why? Why? Because, okay, this could fall down right here yeah. on the thing. and it starts burning here, then that wood right there wouldn't fall. Yeah, so what you're saying is that uh, one of these uh, stockings could have fallen off. Or the wreath. There's a wreath. There, there. is a wreath above it. It could fall down there for yeah. some reason. And it catch a fire the wood while you were in the other room. Right. It would be very yeah. hot for you to. They're not. They're not really tackle. keeping this a very safe fire. So without these screens. As Tennessee's saying, it's very, very important to have a safe fireplace. So if you're going to do a fireplace, always watch the fireplace or put a screen in front of it. Uh huh. I was scolded. Yeah. More than once for not. You got burned for not putting the screen. Oh, scolded! On, I thought you meant like my father. burned. Yeah, everything was uh, looked over by my father. Yeah. Before I made the fire, I had to go down to the barn, and with my brother, and lift sacks of corn for twenty-four hogs. Twenty-four <laughs> hogs worth of corn. <laughs> <laughs> we had to feed 24 hogs with sacks of corn. Is that what you call your siblings? My, my... Hogs? My hogs. Well, they weren't my siblings, but it was kind of like that because they would have babies. They, one hog would have like 13 siblings. Whoa. And it was outrageous to do that every, every morning before right. we built this fire. Yeah. So you're just... Lugging around sacks of corn for hogs, <laughs> Tennessee the the corn the corn sack hog lugger. And then my mother would make biscuits with the maid, and those biscuits they were like, boom from scratch. Wow, and that's not so a sexual that, reference. Yeah, wow, they would they would rise like that, mm. and they were be about this big around. Right, and you know you ate that with the eggs and bacon. It was How tough. would you get that down your mouth? Would you have to like force it down, like uh, have someone like ram it? We had we had to milk goats with your mouth. Milk goats and you know goats yeah. and strain the milk and then churn the strain for the butter and drink the milk and eat the eggs, biscuit and sauce. You had to do a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. You had to milk goats. You had to churn the butter. You had to eat the eggs. You had to eat the butter. <laughs> <laughs> it would all happen around 4.30 every morning, and then we'd go to Skull. The bus would pick us up 12 miles it took us to Skull. You had a 12-mile bus ride. After this fire. So you'd set up a fire, get it going. Would you keep, heat that up to warm your family up? Who would stay at home with the fire? Everyone. You would go to school by yourself and everyone would stay at home? No, no. Well, after breakfast and everything, this burns out. Around uh, noon time, it's completely gone. So you, you set up the fire, you eat your breakfast and get ready in the morning, and, and then you go to school and it burns out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have the screen on there. The only people are home are mom and the maid and the grandma mm -hmm. and all the animals. So you had a, a big family at home. You had grandma and maid and everyone? 250 head of Paul Herford cows. If you know anything about Paul Herford beef, no, I don't eat meat or beef. Man, that's the army. You know, when the hamburger, you go in these hamburger stores? I haven't been in a hamburger store in a while. But that's where they get a lot of the meat, uh, is pull her for beef cows. Uh, and we had 250, a big herd. Ah. Uh, all right, so let's go back. Do you have fond memories of those days? Yeah, I kind of do. Yeah? Do you kind of wish that those days were still happening? Or? In a way, in yeah. a way, I think about... Um, So we're going to watch Chris Smith's smooth jazz music and relaxing fireplace. All right, here it goes. Here's yeah. to us.
This is a more gentle fire. You could be closer than this one. It's gentle, but I'm not a fan of the music and the quality's a little blurry. Can you tell that it's not really quite HD? Can you see that? It looks right inside the bricks. This is the perfect framing for a fireplace video in my opinion. If you're gonna make a fireplace video, if you're out there and you're wondering what the framing should look like, just copy this model. This is the best, I, I love this. I love this model here, I love this, this is great. How does that make you feel? I'm quite at home on this one, I could almost cry. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna shut the door real quick while you enjoy that. Cause I, um, I have a feeling someone's gonna be starting up a vacuum in a second. All right. You know what? This is, this is kind of uh, going against everything that I've said before, but this music I actually find enjoyable. These logs on there, they're all the same size and they're not like huge. Yeah, so it is, it is a nice, the, the sizes of these things are nice. The music I actually like. Mm. Call me a changed man. I like this music. Mm, I didn't think that I could ever like a Yule Log fireplace video with what do you like about music. This? The music makes me feel cozy. It makes me feel a sense of family. It makes me feel, it just makes me feel at home. It gives me a feeling of being at home that I, that no no video I've actually ever seen probably on the entire internet has made me feel. This makes me feel like I'm sitting right there with my mommy and daddy on Christmas morning. We didn't own a fireplace, so I don't know why, but it makes me feel like... Makes me feel really good. Last winter, I went up to a ski place in California, Northern California. And I spent three days there. They had a pretty big fireplace like that. And every day I would go to that fireplace and read a book, South Lake Tahoe. So I think what you're saying is fireplaces bring us a little bit more sense of joy than I think that we give them credit for. Mm. When I saw that fireplace in there, I knew I was going to be at home with this yeah. lodge. Yeah. Do you have a fireplace at the current place you're living? No. Do you miss it? Yeah. I think a fireplace is a really important... I feel like it's something that's been around for such a long time. When it gets cold, you want, you want to huddle up around a fire and it brings you a sense of peace. The music, there was a change in the music here. Did you notice that? Mm. I liked the music at the beginning a little bit more. This is still good though. Wow, this Christmas smooth jazz music and relaxing fireplace is really nice. I wasn't a fan at first because it's a little blurry and it had music, but it's, I'm, I had a change of heart here. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. When I grew up, I was in the Boy Scouts, and mm -hmm. before that, the Cub Scouts. Mm -hmm. And we'd go camping, and beside the river, we would bait up a huge line of baits for catfish. Mm -hmm. And all night long, we would sit before a fire about like this. Mm -hmm. Doze off, and then wake up and let's go check our trot line. Mm -hmm. Your what? Trot line, that's oh. what it's called. What is that? A trot line is whenever you have an anchor at the end and all along the way for around 30 yards are hooks and you bait those hooks with meat and you throw it in the river and it goes to the bottom and then catfish are like on the bottom. There's on the around. prowl looking for it, huh? And 
So we would be by the fire like this, kind of sleeping and dozing about every hour or two hours. Would it be a fire inside or outside? Outside. Okay. By the river. And we would dig a ditch around the fire, so any crackling, it would hit in the ditch. And we'd kind of dig down so the fire would be kind of below the ground. So it would crackle, and then when it would crack, it would just hit on the dirt on the side. And we'd wake up every two or three hours and put some more logs on, and then go check the trout line. When we'd come back, it'd be roaring just like Oh, that. nice. Wow. So you'd have a nice warm fire to come back to. I'm telling you. Something about fireplaces really just make me feel cozy. They make me feel... I feel like when I'm near a fire, I forget about all my worries. And we'd catch a lot of fish, too. Yeah. And do you think that fireplace, knowing that you're coming back to the fireplace, gave you any any little, any little, more motivation? Well, I like to go uh, fishing again. I scouted out some rivers by some gold mining territory in the National Forest areas. Mm -hmm. Uh, I purchased me a little fly rod and a rod and reel. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I'm just waiting on a good time to go. Yeah. Go again? Yeah, go again. What would you rate this video? Uh, about a 10. Oh, oh, oh. Another 10. I'd give it an 8 oh, oh, oh. because the visuals aren't really on point, but I'm digging the audio. I'm into every aspect of it, except it's a little blurry. All right, so what is next? Um, all right, so this one here. Oh, wait, no, that's not good. Let's see. Maybe we can find another one. OK, this one's good. Uh, 4K HD fireplace, Yule log, one hour long, no watermark, no interruptions. Okay. You got a crackle here. You got a nice crackle. You'll like this one. I like this one. Although the, for some reason the, uh, you see the way that log is charred there in front? It's kind of disturbing me. It does? Well, a lot of heat comes off that. If you were at a lodge and you were like freezing, you would appreciate that. So you're coming more at it from the perspective of would I like this uh -huh. if I were there? Because I've been there enough times to know that kind of vision uh -huh. when I'm freezing. I'll hold my hand up against that mm -hmm. and watch out for that. Not that, but that. Yeah, you um, don't want to get burned by the fire here. Right, not that, but that. What are you saying? Not that, but that? Yeah. So you wouldn't, whenever you go up there, you would see that and you would... Oh, wait, show the audience so we can all see what you're meaning. So you stick your hands not on the plane, but on those charcoal coals that he... he you bought. would put your bare hands on charcoal? No, no, but on you the... would put them closer so you could get, yeah. get the modified heat. Yeah. It's yeah. already where it's been burned. So it is, an, it is nice here. You can tell it's been burned for quite a while and that it, it does have a lot of heat in those coals and right. charcoal there. But I don't like the how gray and black this looks right on the edge. It's not being burned. It's just kind of an ugly color. Yeah, it, he probably could have cleaned it out. Yeah, it's there. a little dirty yeah. there, right? On if you're going to make a one hour long video about uh, a fire running, you kind of want it to be a little more clean. You know, I feel like they could have done a little bit more of a clean up job here. True. But you, know, you know, I hear Santa Claus on my rooftop at home. Santa Claus is on your rooftop? Yeah, I hear his, his reindeer, so I better take off. You, you got to get going? Yeah, I got to get going. You could have told me the truth. You don't got to tell me that Santa Claus I'm is on your roof. I'm telling you the truth, man. You got to hear Santa Claus. Santa Claus, Claus is on your you roof. You got to wake up your ears. Just think about Santa Claus. You had Santa Claus on your roof? On my rooftop. He's ready to go. He's got a helicopter <laughs> pad and everything. You got to go go back home for Santa Claus? <laughs> yeah. He's got a helicopter pad on your roof? Yeah, he's got a helicopter pad. Okay, you got to go. <laughs> you, you, you can go. Right. Well, say bye because Tennessee's heading out. I'm going to keep watching a couple more videos. Um, but Tennessee, thank you. It was an honor to have you here. Thank you. Oh, oh, I have a sticker on my shirt. Can you take that off for me? What does it say? I don't know. What is this? It Re says reversible sequence. Reversible sequence. Yeah. Swipe to reveal. Let's see what it's... Oh.
Oh no, I think it meant these sequins. That's a pretty shirt. I like that. Wait, can you swipe it up? I think it meant. Can you swipe these up? Can you swipe? What if we turn this down and you oh. can see it? Wait, wait, don't shut it all the way. There, that's good. Can you swipe up on this? Swipe up. Oh, there's a, that's what? gold. Yeah, that is gold. What is, oh, it's a pizza. It's a pizza it's slice. It's a pizza. That is great. Let there be pizza on earth. <laughs> that's it. That is fantastic. <laughs> Love it. Oh. <laughs> so knock that over. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much, Tennessee. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Oh, if you want your tea, you can bring it yeah. too. Have a great time. Thank you. I'm glad. Thank you for coming out. Cheers, Cheers buddy. Cheers. Cheers. Have a good one. Have a good time with Santa out there. All right. So we didn't get to review. Uh, we didn't get to give the uh, the final uh, rating for this one. We didn't get to hear that from Tennessee. Uh, he had to go. Apparently, Santa Claus was on his roof. Don't know why he wouldn't just tell me why he was leaving. All right. Let's see. My personal review for this one would be. A six. I know I'm giving a lot of these a six, but it's just not my favorite. The way that the fireplace looks a little dirty. It's a little ashy. Uh, the charcoal on the front just looks a little messy. And that, that dark log right in the front here. I know it's a natural fireplace, but if I'm going to pull these up, there's a lot of competition out there. I want it to be the best one. And this one's definitely not the best one because that log right in the front just bugs the hell out of me for some reason. Um, 6 out of 10. There was no music, which was nice, but still, 6 out of 10. All right, so now we have uh, this one. Oop, did I click the wrong one? No, we'll do this one. This one is called John Mark McMillan, Silent Night slash Smile in the Mystery Christmas Yule Log Fireplace. So open this one here. Okay, there's music. Silent light, smile, I can't even read that. Smile in the mystery? Featuring Sarah McMillan? John Mark McMillan? Is this, they just got the whole family in on this, on this video? This is only a four minute long Yule Log video. Frankly, I'm a little disappointed. If you're gonna turn on a Yule Log video. Oh, that's too much. I'm gonna turn that off might be copyrighted, but also don't want to hear these people taking themselves so seriously singing Silent Night. Um, I don't know if you could even call this one a Yule Log video because it would have to be part of a playlist or something to just be playing in the background. When I turn on a Yule Log fireplace video, I want to be able to turn it on and just have it go. I just want it to go. I don't want to have to manage it and change the, the clip. And also this really puts more emphasis on the logs that you see on the right side of frame and also the candles that you see on the left uh, and a little bit less on the fireplace. I don't think that you could even call this a Yule Log fireplace video. So I'm just gonna give that a two out of 10. Sorry, I know it's kind of brutal. Don't mean to offend you, but I just not a fan. All right, so here this one's called WPIX Yule Log Part 7 out of 15. So there, there might be 15 parts here. Maybe we're coming in the middle. What is this? <laughs> uh, not a fan of the music. That horn is a little bit too glaringly loud in my ear holes. The fireplace, this looks like it was shot in the 60s on some kind of personal camcorder that someone got their hands on or stole from a, a film studio. I don't know. Not a fan of this image quality, the music I'm not a fan of. Uh, there is a lot of depth in the color and the flames, which is nice, but it's just pure black on the bottom part there. Like you can't see any detail. Um, and the fire also has a lot of just pure white in it. Not a lot of color variation here. I don't know, it, it doesn't feel right. Maybe this is something that you would turn on if you wanted to do a flashback uh, to the 40s, to the... the... Stereo simulcast. Oh. 
Oh, so maybe this was, okay. So maybe this was something that was broadcast out in the uh, uh, 40s or, or whatever era, and this is something that would come on TV, which th this isn't bad then. If you look at it from that perspective, not bad. It's just broadcast for free. Just so happens to be on TV on Christmas day or whatever day that might be that you want this on. It's not bad. But it's still not my personal favorite. There's so many other options out there. I wouldn't choose this one. This one wouldn't, this wouldn't be my personal choice ever. I'd give this one a two out of 10. Also, there was an interruption there. And I, you don't want to hear that when you have this on TV. So two out of 10. Also, it's only eight minutes long. I'm going to leave that one. All right. So this one here is a uh, festive 13th Doctor Yule Log Doctor Who BBC. So maybe this is a Doctor Who scene. Oh, this is all CG. Already not a fan of this one. This is all computer generated. Um, gotta admit, don't know a lot about Doctor Who, but I know those are the TARDIS, TARDIS. Go ahead and correct me in the comments, please. I need to be corrected, I need to know the truth. Is it TARDIS or TARDIS? Uh, you got this fire roar in here, which looks incredibly fake. Uh, I, I do want to give them a shout out for that attention to detail in uh, the window there. You can see leaves falling. And also there's these like, there's these dangly Christmas ornaments uh, in the top left and top right that are spinning somewhat realistically. And what is this on the top? Is that, it says police box and it's a, um, some kind of fortune telling orb, crystal ball. I don't know what that is. I don't want to jump too soon on uh, giving this a rating yet, though. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch a little bit longer. Oh, this really is it, then. Huh? I'm gonna skip forward to see if there's anything that we might be missing out on. Oh, they, they are doing some frame changes I'm seeing. Oh, what is this? What is this? There's something happening. Is someone being teleported in here? The fire just went out. Who is that? What are they using to turn that fire on? Who is that? What is she? Okay, there's a there's a woman coming in here to put her hands next to the fire. Oh, she's opening, she's flashing the fireplace with some kind of uh, goods beneath her trench coat. What what's under that trench coat? All I see is darkness. She went to a very creaky door and slammed it. That sounded like it was straight out of the crypt keeper's coffin. Not sure how to feel about that. That was strange on all levels. Well, those leaves just keep falling, right? There's no end to that. I don't know what kind of tree is producing these leaves, but apparently it's got an infinite supply of fall colored maple leaves flowing. Just won't stop flowing. All right, I'm gonna click away from this video and I'm gonna get out of five out of 10. They got a five because it's, they took some risks there. They did some things that other Yule Log videos haven't done. Uh, they had a, a character come in and do a magic spell and flash her bosom or something. I don't know what it was. They flashed something underneath her trench. Um, I really, really like an A for effort, not what I'd personally wanna turn on, but it was entertaining. Five, five out of 10, a solid five out of 10. All right, let's see. Uh, animated Yule Log. I feel like I'm not gonna really enjoy this one. I haven't really enjoyed any of the animated. Uh, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right to have an animated one. 
But this is interesting because it's very stylized. You know what? This one's growing on me because it's not CG. CG fireplaces never look good. They never land that fire just right. But this one is all animated by hand, which is really intriguing. The depth and color texture. Wow, okay, this one's growing on me. I was turned off immediately, but uh, actually quite pleasantly surprised by how much I like it. This is um, the, the same feeling you have when, when I, when I, the same feeling I have when I look at it in the mirror naked. Oh, they're even doing a little bit of a warping for the heat coming off of this fire. Still haven't figured out how to describe fire. Energy? Like, how would you describe fire to someone who has never seen fire before? Would you say it's um, an uncontrollable mass of centralized energy that turns other things into energy when it spreads it. I feel like it's really difficult to understand. Sorry, it's really difficult to describe. I feel like it would, it's difficult to understand because it's hard to describe. Try it. I'd love to see in the comments, how would you describe fire? Don't cheat. Don't be looking on Wikipedia. Don't look up how to describe fire. I want to know how you would describe it on your own. I challenge you to describe fire without looking it up. Try it. All right, this one's actually really cozy. It reminds me of that video game Braid that art style from that game Braid, if anyone played that. Really fun game. Uh, it was actually featured a little bit in Indie Game the Movie, the first one. Really, really fun game. I'd highly recommend it if you have access to uh, play that game. I think it's on Steam, I don't know. Fun game, it's like Mario, but it's stylized like this, like watercolor, you get to control time. I like this one a lot. It doesn't, they didn't add any gimmicky music. They just kept it simple. It loops clearly, but it's animated, so you can't tell because everything looks uh, like the frame rate is a little bit off. But that's just the way animation is. That's the charm. By the way, I'm really excited that animation is taking off on YouTube. It's about time people are recognized for that, that work, which is strenuous and takes forever. And, YouTube's finally like, yeah, let's let's reward those people. So that's great. And hopefully this video, after uh, after people watch this video, ends up getting a lot of views too to reward this person who animated this. I know this probably took a really long time. If you if you want to look this video up, search animated Yule log. You will not be disappointed. This is a nice one. I'd give this one. Ooh. I want to say nine out of ten, Ooh. just because it's a little bit. A little bit further away than I'd like, but oh, it's so close to a perfect 10. I think that just deep down, I don't want my perfect 10, the only perfect 10 that I've given out so far to go to an animated fire. Like an animated, you'll like animation, that, that, that should automatically bump it down by one. It's so close though. This is the best one I've seen so far. Audio's perfect. Visuals are incredible. Only problem is it's animated, but I do love the animation style. Ah, it makes me feel toasty. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. Let's just sit in silence and enjoy it for a second. This one's really nice. I'm just gonna let this one play.
all tired. This one's cozy. Just chill with this one for a little while longer. So toasty. I like the little spiral wispy that goes. So cozy. Oh, nice. Sorry, I was starting to get a little sleepy there. This is nice, though. I really don't want to turn away from this one. I feel like I can't. I feel like it's, it, that'd be, it's impossible to click away from this one. Should I click away? No, it's nice. It's nice. It's a nice one. You want to watch this? just as much as I want to watch this. I know you do, I know you do. Ugh, I'm not gonna fall asleep. I'll go to another one. I rate I rate this one nine out of ten. God, I'm ugh. tired. Mm, okay. Ooh, I don't think I want to click on that one. The the mm -mm, that looks terrifying. Let's see. I'm trying to find one that's not uh, Yule traditions. Yule log. Yule. No, that's not that's not the right kind of Yule log. All right, this one's uh, Brantingham, New York Yule log. <coughs> oh, excuse me, that sounded like the shockwave definitely shot out of my throat. So. This one's got a nice sound. Six out of ten. Not a fan of the way it looks. But there's this one over here related. Romantic fireplace with a crackling sounds HD. I don't think I've clicked this one. Have I clicked this one already?
Okay, that one. I'm not really a fan of this one. Because, um... It's just... It's just too much of, uh, the same. Really, it's... It's... it's okay, there's not enough color variation in the depth of the fireplace. Um... And the depth of the logs, the um, the fire is not of depth. Uh, I'd say three out of ten. Uh, even though the audio is pretty good, the crackles are too loud. Uh, okay, uh, this one is um, uh, Yule Log Twenty Twelve Directors. Commentary. So this one's got comment director's Welcome commentary. The director's I'm commentary Yule Log. Of Yule Log twenty twelve. Yeah. I am the writer and director of Yule Log twenty twelve. Uh Diego Montoya. And with me as always is my producer. Ron Bloom, executive producer. Ron and I have been working together forever. We felt like we could So really these guys the directed to, this uh, to this production. Yeah, when I first met Diego, I think we, we bonded instantly. Cause These guys directed this clip, and they're going to give us their back. commentary. We're not going to let anything, we're not going to let fear drive us, and uh, that actually is why this particular project is so special. Because so these these guys actually took a, a long time uh, setting up this project. Had the guts to try it, which I think is what really initially drove us. To oh, they must have been one of the first people to do a Yule log. It scared the hell out of us, and I think that's exciting. That's that makes exciting work. It does. It's, it's what drives me on a daily basis. And one of the major problems that we came across was the casting process, which is why we have There's our casting, casting for this? with us, Mr. Casper Blake. Uh, oh, they had a casting director for this about one. the casting of, of this particular project. I knew that we were going to have to keep the field wide open, uh, especially once he, uh, he told me that Diego was attached. Uh, uh, the field, the playing field for the wood was... Wide open. Oh, so when they said casting we director, they're looking for logs to cast in this. Uh, um, I, don't, I don't believe there was a type of wood that, that we turned Right, down. so a lot, a lot more thought process goes into these Yule Log yes. videos so than you might give them credit process. for. You might think that they just turn on their fireplace and set up a camera, but it's a lot more that goes into it. You're talking about the type of fire. You want the right kind of fire that's going to burn in the right way, which has been a lot of my complaints, uh, which is, you know, the there's just two... Too much, um, there's the areas that are dark are too dark and the areas that are light are too light, but they seem like they've actually got it, they got it down. When, when I would wake up in the morning, and only after having maybe two hours sleep uh, and, and just ready for another, another long, hard day of, of dealing with wood constantly. Right, right. Um, and and I, I would try to, to categorize, you know, I, I'm having... Uh, Balsa wood on one day, uh, right. pine on another day. I want to know which type of wood is the best wood to burn. Mostly hardwoods at first, and then we, we ended up having to deal with the soft woods. And initially, nobody really likes soft woods. Right. I mean, pine, plywood. You don't want a soft wood when you're trying to get something like this. You want it to be hard. You want it to be stiff. You want it to be something that's long-lasting. We, we sort of were tossing around some ideas. You know what? Let's think outside the box. And then Casper blew us away with his uh, with his choice of particle board. Right. I, th I thought particle we board. Really be able to go with the particle board too. And, and, um, but so particle board is actually uh, uh, better than real quality, fire, uh, real real logs. I meant to say. Which Sorry, I'm tired. Expect. We did not expect. But uh, the glue proved to be quite toxic in our test shoots. You know, Ron ended up in the hospital. Yeah, there's a lot of glue in. Uh, Particle you know, board. He recovered, thankfully, of course. Yes. Um, but you know, he's still on an inhaler, and will occasionally have to bring an iron lung with him to set. Well, listen, uh, the, this this business is not for the weak. I mean, this is this is a tough business. I mean, it's it's the most dangerous industry in the entire world, and if you're not ready to to commit. Well, to I feel like this gives me a completely different perspective on Yule log videos. I thought it was something that anyone could go out and make, but there's so many different moving elements that go into this. It's kind of it's just like I feel like I have a wake-up call happening right now. 
one ended up in the hospital. I, th I thought for sure we were People have gone in the hospital over creating uh, soft wood. your and log videos. One morning, I come into my office, and there's this hardwood that just gets my attention. And I could send the rest of them all home. Yeah, the choice was obvious at that point. We went with a, with a solid oak. Oh. Oh, it's solid oak. Okay, so now you know the best choice is a solid oak for your wood. Damn, I'm, I'm coming in with a very, very different perspective of uh, Yule Log videos I didn't have before. Alright, so this one's called Burning Dollhouse Fireplace Yule Log in Hearth for two hours, uh, full HD. Okay, so it looks like someone set up a dollhouse uh, in an outdoor hearth that they've completely set on fire, I'm guessing with some kind of gasoline. Uh, they probably threw a match in there, and it immediately w is now engulfed in flames. Uh, you could tell it's kind of a holiday playhouse, big dollhouse, because it's got a wreath on the front there, and it burns for a solid two hours. So let's take a look at this. It's a little bit different than your standard fireplace that you, you might be inclined to put on, but I feel like if you uh, reach out, push past uh, any preservation that you have, anything that makes you feel like you, you can't break past your, your preconceived notion of what a Yule Log video should look like, you might find yourself getting a little bit more adventurous if you're a little bit tired of the other fireplace videos and doing putting something like this on TV which I think is just fantastic I think this is incredible you could see the top of the uh, dollhouse starting to fall and there's actual chunks of this dollhouse that are now in the grass uh, potentially about to start a fire a, a, a big a, a big wildfire possibly burned down three quarters of California. I'm just hoping not. It's come close so many times. It's a disaster. Um, I'm, I'm unsure how this is going to burn for a solid two hours, considering it's only been an, a minute and 50 seconds and it's already almost completely decimated. This is entirely far too satisfying to watch. I didn't think that I was an arsonist, but after seeing this, I think that there there might be a little bit of arsonist blood within me. Maybe it ran in my genes. Maybe I had a family member that burned down a couple buildings or something a couple hundred years ago. But I feel it. I feel it. Oh, look at that. The, the entire roof of this dollhouse is burning down. I really hope that there were no dolls in this house. I would hate to, to try to rescue it any of those dolls right now. There's definitely going to be a few casualties. Oh, and there goes the entire front portion of this house. It's completely uh, destroyed at this point. And it's still going, it's still going. That was highly disappointing. Did you see that? I was waiting for this big grand climax, and all I got, all I got was this. Waiting for that money shot this entire time, and it fades out right beforehand. What? Bam! The house is rebuilt now. That's... Nothing gets me angrier than watching a video, you're waiting for that climax moment, cuts out before it even happens. It's like, why even tease me? You're giving me blue balls here, and it's really, I'm not going to even, I'm not, I'm not going to comment on that video. I'm not going to rate that video. I'm going to act like that video never existed. I want to give so many FUs. I want to give so many uh, MFs, which means middle fingers, uh, to that thing. God, I'm so, I'm so TO'd right now. I have this bursting sense of rage within me and I feel like destroying something. I feel like maybe uh, ramming my knuckles very forcefully into something hard. 
preferably something not alive, though. Not that kind of person. All right. Not Chris Brown. Oh, this is a very interesting one. So this is a very different type of Yule Log video. I feel like right now we're getting into a little bit more of a diverse section, a little, this is something that is more of an acquired taste. So you wouldn't go directly into this. So if a normal standard Yule Log video in a fireplace is pop music, um, maybe this is a subgenre of folk or Maybe you go a little bit deeper, you go into uh, grunge or jazz. So you, you, you go here, this is Yule Log on the beach in Florida. Mm, you hear that sound? It's like, it's like when your annoying friend at school puts pop rocks in their mouth and they go up to your ear, unbeknownst to you, with pop rocks in their mouth and they open up their mouth and it's like, and you're like, oh, you, Paul, you know your place. I don't mind it though. It also has a little bit of that beach wave sound, the ocean sound, which is really nice. It's really, really pleasant. Oh, and this is the entire state of Florida. Uh, warm wishes from Florida, the entire state. They had to make up for all the crazy BS that goes on in that entire state uh, with this Yule Log video on the beach. But I think this makes up for every wrong thing that that state has done. Like losing us 2002 election. Let's see. And is anything going to happen here or is it the same thing? This is nice. I like the way that they set up the logs to look like a little tripod effect here. I think that's a really efficient way to burn fire. This is a really pleasant feeling. I like this. The, the beach waves really are getting me in a way that I didn't think I would be gotten. Nice. Let's skip a little bit forward and see if uh, if this fire changes up a little bit. Oh, it is. It looks like someone to reset it. Here, I'm going to score back to where they reset it. Oh, look at that. So these logs right here actually fall, I believe. There's nothing I enjoy more than a Yule Log video that actually plays out and doesn't just dissolve into another repeated clip every three minutes. There's something so satisfying about watching this. Oh, look at that, it fell. That's nice. Is it gonna keep going or does someone reset it? It does seem a little bit windy there. I'm glad it's on sand so it's safe. Ah, have you ever lit? Oh, look at that, there's a dude here. Look at that, we actually get to see a little perspective of this person here. In most Yule Log videos, you don't get to see the people behind the scenes, which I think deserve more credit. Like this guy right here, uh, I don't know his name, it doesn't say on here, but I'm just going to call him uh, Jackson. I think Jackson deserves a little bit more credit for this. He set up the Yule Log, he set up the camera, he's out there getting his feet dirty, he's probably going to have to trim his toenails after this because that dirt's going to get caught up in there in a way that no utensil can ever uh, relieve. Well, uh, Jackson has such a nice beard. His beard is really, really nice too. Look at that, and he reset the camera. It's this, I think this goes for a full two hours. So he didn't reset up the camera, he reset up the logs. And I think it just plays out. If we see this go from evening slash afternoon all the way to night, I will become the happiest, most ecstatic person Nothing like seeing actual time pass. That's so sad. That is, that is sad. 
Nothing like seeing time pass. Let's see. I'm gonna scroll a little bit forward. Oh my god. This is the best Yule Log video on the internet. It's a full one hour, nonstop, no cuts. Just one heavy flow with a wide, 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 this is a wide set fire. This video has got a heavy flow and it never stops. It just keeps going. I love it. I'm gonna skip a little bit forward just to go to some of the, uh, the more exciting moments here. I'm gonna cut to uh, minute 25. This is when it's starting to get a little bit dark out. Look at that. Oh, and you can see the sun setting in the background. Now this fire is taking a, a whole new life of its own. It was kind of battling the, the light from the sun, but now that the sun is setting, this fire is coming of age. It's almost passing uh, the age 13, or maybe you could even say it's um, having its own little bar mitzvah. I, I know I said that incorrectly. Correct me in the comments, please. It's having its own little coming of age moment right now. Wow. This is nice. It's gonna stand out and become its own full grown adult in a moment here. It was a squirtle. Now it's clearly a war turtle. It's about to become a blastoise and I'm so excited. I might blast my own toys right now if I don't, if like once this happens, it's just gonna be like such a great moment. Wow, this is really nice. I'm looking, Jackson's coming back in to fix his fire up. He, he's been scavenging the, the beach for twigs and sticks and he just threw in three right there that whole time. Jackson, my man, I love you, Jackie. His friends call him Jackie. So the sun's almost setting right now. I'm gonna skip a little bit forward just to save you. I know that you're trying to see what happens next too. So we're gonna cut to minute, let's see, we're at 27 now. I'm gonna cut to minute 29. Look at that, the sun right there is almost set. Ooh, it's so close to becoming that full-blown Blastoise right now. It's evolving to its final form. This fire, I cannot wait to see this fire in its full glory. I want everything to be dark. I want to just see the... Why did it cut? What is that? Now it started over? I can't. Why did it start over? We were about to see it become its full... We're about to see its final form. What the? Why? Why did it just click? Why? Florida found a way to mess this up too. I was just about to have a change of heart about the entire state of Florida based on this one video. They ruined the climax. This is like those videos you watch on certain websites where you're about to get to the end that thing's about to happen right at the end and then it cuts and it wants you to go to their website to watch the full thing which requires a subscription service of $13.99 a month which you're not gonna have on your bill. the entire state of Florida. This is for you, I think you can guess which finger this is. Don't come at me in the comments because you know I'm right. I deserve an apology from the entire state of Florida. I don't know how I'm gonna get over that. I don't know how I'm gonna get over that. 
This better be another good good Yule Log video. Harris Creek Yule Log. Harris Creek make up for the entire state of Florida, please. This is a nice Yule Log video. Oh, look at that, there's a dog, there's a dog too. Uh, not super excited about the fact that I can't see the, the tip of the flame. The tip of the flame is really why you go into watching a Yule Log video. I just cracked my knuckle and it was very loud. I'm sorry if any of you have a phobia against that. That was the most clean sounding knuckle crack I've ever created on my own. That sounded like a soundboard. Not so good. It did sound like a fire. I know there's a dog here and I'm so excited to see it come back. This is really nice. This makes me want to go out into the middle of the woods next to a river. There's a river. You can see a river flowing there. Wow. I didn't know how much of an outdoorsman I was until I watched this because I'm immediately feeling the desire to go out in the middle of the woods next to a river, start a fire with my Fiskars uh, X1150 axe, clearly very expensive, chop down some firewood, uh, throw in the middle of some river rocks. Uh, light it by starting my own personal fire that I start with my um, little device that I've created with a series of strings in my hands. And you know what I'm talking about. Also with my little baby puppy. This deserves more views. This person clearly had s put so much time into this. Uh, Harris Creek Yule Log, immediately go search this one. This is very good. It was uploaded in 2013 and only has 3,658 views, which is a lot if you think about those people. 3,658 people would not fit in this room. It might be a little cramped. I think the maximum occupancy of this room is probably like four, but maybe you could fit them all in here. I feel like we need to get this video more views immediately right now. Go search Harris Creek Yule Log video. This is really great. Um, I feel like the framing could be lifted up a little bit and that's my only complaint with this one. It's not in like a uh, fireplace, which I usually gravitate toward, but I still find it enjoyable. I'm gonna skip a little bit more forward, see if anything else happens or if the dog joins again. Okay, the fire has um, decreased in size a little bit. Now I see why they framed it this way because they didn't want to, um, they probably set up this frame when the, the flames were a little bit smaller. And there's some, uh, oh, who is this? Is this Mr. Fireplay? Oh, look at the cute dog! He's got a sweater on! Oh, is that a Pendleton sweater? Oh, that dog has more class than I do. Oh, look at this man. He looks like an Andy to me. Look at Andy chopping down his firewood out in the middle right now with his expensive Oakley glasses and All Saints boots. He's got his nice mug though on his log chopping, his log chopping. There was a dog that came out to play for a second. I want the dog back. I can hear the dog's collar. I'm gonna skip a little forward because I, I really am mostly watching this video for the dog. Andy's back, my boy. Wait, is that the is that the same? Are those different shoes? Those don't look like the All Saints boots. Is this the same? Is this the Andy that we know and love, or is this someone else? This looks like someone else. Is that Richard? Oh, that one's Richard. That's definitely a Richard. Starting to feel unsure about seeing the people building the fire in my Yule Log videos. It kind of, I like that sense of separation between me and the Yule Log. Seeing Andy and Richard and Jackson in the last video, Jackson put a bad taste in my mouth, but Andy and Richard have a chance to win me over again. Come on, Andy and Richard, win me back. Jackson really put a bad taste in my mouth for seeing humans in these videos. Dogs, love them. Cats, love them. Humans, 
kind of proved to me a couple times, more than once, that I can't trust them. Ooh, that sound is really nice, though. This is this is a really nice audio. This is actually, quite frankly, a really nice camera too. The quality is great. I want to hang out with Andy and Richard. I think I could probably be friends with them. They seem like cool dudes. I want to. I want to go like hang out next to this river with Andy and Richard. Do you think if we became best friends, it would be Andy, Richard, and Anthony, Anthony, Richard, and Andy, or Andy, Anthony, Richard? Anthony, Andy, Richard. Richard, Anthony, and Andy. Anthony and Andy. That doesn't sound right. Let me know in the comments which order you think those names sound best in, phonetically. So when I uh, eventually meet these guys, I can let them know what our uh, Three Amigos name will be. All right, so I'm skipping a little bit forward just because I feel like I've kind of seen what I need to see. They're not really doing anything interesting. If Andy came out, Andy, what's up, my man? Andy's coming. It's Andy's turn to deal with this now. I wonder if Richard's getting... Um, I don't know if he's fishing or something with Sebastian, their puppy. I would, I'm not going to lie, I would probably be more inclined to watch this uh, all the way through without skipping if there was a little bit of nudity. I feel like that would bring this to the, uh, another level, to an entirely different level. Yeah, there's not any nudity so far, so I'm not super impressed. But what I am impressed about is that they, they really did let this roll for a full almost 30 minutes. <gasps> did we get to see Sebastian? Oh my god, he's so cute. This is... Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Look at him. Hey, buddy, what's up? He's putting his little foot up. That pendolin jacket is... Pristine fashion choices, Seb. Oh, buddy! So cute. Love them. Love the wiener dogs. Love any dogs, really. But any dog in a jacket, good by me. I gotta see how this video ends. You just gotta see it. And kind of anticlimactic. I was hoping for some kind of climax. No. Uh, okay, well, the next video that's going to autoplay here uh, is Lil Bub's Magical Yule Log video for 2016. Is he really purring or do they add that in? Sorry, I'm trying my hardest.
sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm just trying not to. Little bub does something to my emotions that I can't explain. Like I. No, I'm okay. No tissues. He just does something. He's purring the whole time. He's... He has, n he has no idea how cute he is. He's so cute. He's so cute. Why is he so happy? He's purring. I feel like I need to immediately watch monster truck videos after this just to... Oh, he's getting pet! by that very tattooed hand. That is a lot of tattoos that owner has. Nothing wrong with tattoos, I was just not expecting that. Oh God, definitely, you know, just gonna do a few quick searches for monster trucks, smashing things just to combat my uh, this fragile masculinity that I feel right now. God. Little Bub is one of the best creatures to ever ever exist on this planet. I say that without a doubt. Even amongst all the extinct species, Lil Bub, number one. Maybe number two. Somewhere in the top 10, top 100, but still like, you know, great. Wow, wow. This is fantastic. This is truly, truly fantastic. This might be my favorite Yule Log video I've ever seen. The fireplace isn't, isn't in focus. It's kind of small in frame, but little Bub just brings it home. You could hear his purring. You can hear the crackling of the fire. They didn't add any gimmicky music. They didn't play that very annoying Michael Buble music. They didn't try too hard. They just gave us exactly what we wanted. We wanted Lil Bub. We wanted fire. I would play this one. Look for this one. Lil Bub's Magical Yule Log Video 2016. If you're looking for uh, something to make you feel cozy. If you want to maybe bring a little tear to your eye because you just realize how... Freaking adorable, Lil Bubba is. He's so adorable. So cute, cutest little cat. My one question is why won't his tongue go in his mouth? Is his tongue too big for his mouth? There was a fade. You had me. You had Lil Bub there for five minutes and 40 seconds, five minutes, 34 seconds. I know it might be animal abuse to force your cat to stay here for a full hour, but you were so close. Why did you give up? This was almost a perfect 10 video, but there was a cut there only five and a half minutes in. It was very clear. This video is going to be a nine. This video is a nine. I do love it though. It's ultra HD. All right, let's go ahead and go. Whoops. Let's go back to our search. All right, so this is from Anthropology? Is this from the clothing website? Uh, Yule Log Fireplace video with crackling fire sounds from Anthropology, the clothing retail store, I believe. Whoa, why does this video just say like and dislike? Are there zero likes and zero dislikes? Is that what happens when uh, there's no ratings? Never seen that before. Okay, there's no gimmicky sound effects. 
or music or anything like that. Fire's a little bit too far away in frame. So next here, we're getting kind of into the depths of these. The best sounding Yule Log ever. This one uh, is credited just for the best sound. Oh, it's by Sonos, which I believe is an audio name brand that makes uh, audio equipment. Oh, the best sounding Yule Log ever. Whoa, and then there is a zoom, and that is a real zoom that is not Oh, that is a camera moving. That is, woo! Ooh, that is a good fire. That is some good audio. I am into that audio. Ooh, and then it goes into perfect framing. Stop right there. Perfect framing. Amazing. Impeccable audio here. I feel like I might want to go out and buy a Sonos right now. That is some good audio. That's not a real fire though, that's definitely gas powered. A little disappointed by the fact that it's gas, but audio is incredible. Wow, that sounds very good. That is nice, not really much variation though. I feel like I can kind of hear the gas though. <sighs> Sound is a little bit too intense to, to be anything other than gas. And as you know uh, from watching all the way up to this point, because I know you've watched all the way up to this point without skipping around, uh, you definitely didn't get frustrated by any of the ads that I placed throughout this entire video because monetization is uh, uh, not really on my side right now and either is the algorithm, but you know not really a fan of gas-powered fireplaces. Nothing wrong, nothing against you if you prefer gas-powered fireplaces, nothing against you if you uh, have one in your house or whatever. But there's nothing like a real fire that's only sustained by its own energy. Nothing really gets me off like that. All right, so I'm gonna skip it forward a little bit. It is a full hour, but I wanted to see if they if they mix it up a little bit. It doesn't look like it's mixed up. In fact, I think these are fake logs, because if you look right here, it's the exact same log. The logs look identical from hour nine to hour 120. Sorry, minute nine to hour 100, one minute and 20. Been doing this a while, ladies and gentlemen. I am very sorry for not being able to speak. My tongue doesn't work properly in most occasions. Yeah, that's a fake fire. Fake, fake all around. Oh, a Hawaiian Yule Log. I've never seen a Hawaiian specific Yule Log. Okay, uh, so I'm the first viewer. Uh, no views, zero up, zero down. Uh, it was uploaded today. Oh, and it's a, it's a 30 second video of someone recording one of those cheesy little gas powered things that they have in Oahu. Okay, not a fan of that one, zero out of 10, immediate zero out of 10. Okay, so this one right here uh, is called it, Fire Emoji, it came upon a midnight clear hyphen mercy me hyphen fire emoji, you'll log fire emoji. So let's see what this is. Is this a Yule Log video? This looks like a fever dream. I feel like I'm watching the movie Mandy right now.
They really did something above and beyond with this music, but... Uh, too close. No, this music is... Mm, this sounds like music that would be played by my yearbook, yearbook club in high school. I'm not a fan. Uh, zero out of ten. Yule Log with Christmas music and loud family fighting. Might be into this one. This one sounds like it could be exciting. This music's so generic. We've all heard it before. Not really a fan of it. The fire looks nice, though. Can't hear any audio from the fire. There's a raging fire here, and we can't hear it. Digging this one, I give it a chance. I'm gonna skip forward to minute five and see if, see if it, sorry, minute five, see if it gets a little better. Oh, oh, the music actually faded out. I didn't have to skip. Yeah, what's up, honey? Could you, in the next 10 to 15, move your car from the driveway in the garage so that there's more parking space and everybody gets here? Okay. Um, I feel like I get a good spot right here. So you're now. like in the middle of the driveway a little bit, like you're close to the no, center. No, Right, I agree. I agree with the wife in this case. Can't I'm assuming it's a wife. It could be sister. She's right. She's right. He should really move the car. You gotta. No, you want people to use the driveway. Honey, I'm having. I'm like, I just sat down. Uh, you know, I've been running around doing everything, preparing. I haven't and I... sat down in probably six hours. Now. Okay. This wasn't a competition. This wasn't. A, I wasn't doing a competition of who's not sat down well, in the I longest time. Well, I just happened time. to notice it because I have one made all the food. I've gotten the menu together. I got all the drinks. I went sure. to Meyer three times today because. Sounds like a lot of shopping that someone did. Sounds like a lot of shopping that had to get done. Well, this you morning. did not want us to spend any money on Christmas. No, I'm not saying I didn't want us to spend a lot of money. I will. Uh, uh, but uh, you'd I, love to spend money on a kid. You'd love to have a baby and buy all those. Didn't bring that up. I didn't bring that up. I just want to make that clear. Okay. Yeah. Well, I did bring. It up. Okay. So this is a husband and wife, or I boyfriend and girlfriend. Like people, we're not going to continue talking about it. People can park wherever they want. It's not that far from the street to our home. And uh, that's a point. That's a true point. To, uh, later tonight, if Here's the, the thing. it's going to get slippery. But it doesn't matter really if you park on the street. Well, it's more efficient. It's more efficient to do that. It's it's more efficient. That is true. You keep your car parked there. You're not going to deal with the the snow. Okay, uh, honey, you seem to make a lot of preconceptions about what I'm going to do in the future. Uh, why don't you just calm down, have a drink, and just have a good time? Have, oh my God, imagine that! Like you just having a good time at Christmas. Sorry, I'm trying to calm down. I'm <laughs> sitting over here. Don't make this a woman thing. Don't make this a woman thing. Oh, so there's a little sexism in this I argument. A woman thing. And I am on an extremely heavy period day. Oh. Oh, okay, so it wasn't too bad. I mean, sounds like she's claimed she's on her period. She's um, she's saying that's why she's upset. Uh, he is just uh, sexist. And that was apparently, I don't know, that was a real argument. I think that might have been a, a stage argument, might have been real. But I did enjoy it. I did enjoy overhearing that. There's something that brings me so much joy about, there's something that brings me so much joy about hearing other people argue. Uh, I don't know if that's sick and morbid of me, but it, it gives me uh, a little perspective into why other people argue. I get to see how they deal with problems. I get to see what their perspective is about whatever it is that they're arguing about that they feel strongly enough about that they're arguing about, um, which is great. And it also reminds me at that moment, I'm not arguing right now. And it feels really nice. You know, sometimes you just need to be reminded, hey, you could be arguing right now. Things could be a lot worse. You could be arguing. Not arguing. Also, it's kind of um, a happy, healthy reminder that we live, most of us at least, live in an area where our biggest hardship in life is arguing. And it's really frustrating. 
There could be so many other things that we could be worrying about at that moment, but arguing is the thing that matters most. Anyway. Um, switch. It. The framing sucks. All right. You log with Christmas music. You know how I feel. No, the music is horrible. Also, what is this? Oh, Merry Christmas from the Great Plains Communications. Don't know who they are. This zoom is a little uh, disturbing. I'm really expecting uh, Satan to rear his head out of this fire or something. This is just a little bit too ominous. This is definitely the beginning of a horror, horrible horror Krampus movie. Zero out of ten. The music's horrible. The video quality was bad. The fireplace was moving all over the place. They put text over the screen. All right. So now we got Yukon. Uh... Dual log. Already not a fan. It's uh, CG. <sighs> They're all about this NCAA basketball shenanigans. Not really up my alley. Not really a sports guy. I might appreciate this more if I was into the NCAA or UConn. Frankly, don't know a thing about it. Can't even pretend. So this one here is uh, $3, Christmas Moods by the Fireplace, Holiday Yule Logs. Costs 3 bucks to rent it. It's only standard definition. I was really tempted to rent this, but it's only standard definition. I don't really want to pay $2.99 for that. So I'm going to close that out. What do we got next? Disney's Hollywood Studios Christmas Area Music Yule Log version. Oh, song's over. I like it a little bit better without the uh, music, but that wasn't a bad song. That was nice.
Yo, yo, watch out, watch out. Wake up. Dude. What's up? You fell asleep, bro. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, I... We're at like an hour. We're at like two and a half hours. <laughs> oh my god. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you like raising money or something? Or... What do you mean? Like, it's like a... Just... You good? Mm-hmm. Again. I think it might be time to call it. Are you serious right now? Oh no, 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 no! Oh, oh. no. Do <sighs> you need help? No. God, dude, that was. Did I fall asleep again? Yeah, I mean, you, Are you yeah, serious, woke dude? Up and then you fell oh, I'm awake now. Sorry for that interruption there. Um, God. Wow. Okay. Uh, how far are we into this? Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. All right, we're gonna keep going. Give people what they want. People want to see more. I don't think anyone wants to see this. What do you mean people don't want to see this? Never mind. People want to see this. Yeah. Comment want below if you want to see this to prove that he is a very wrong person. Uh, so right now, um, we got uh, virtual fireplace, Yule log, free background video, 1080p HD stock video footage. Uh, so we're gonna click that. Um, so this one is a uh, Creative Commons, so anyone could use it. This is the worst Yule Log video I've ever seen in my life. This is horrible. It's disgusting. It's ho horrifying. It's wretched. Uh, it kind of a. Um, Kind of a natural chastity belt. I feel like if I saw someone watching this, I would never want to be near them. This is horrible. Makes me feel disgusting. Makes me feel dirty. With an E. So dirty. I don't like this. This looks like that game Mist. If you ever played that game. Disgusting. I do not like those graphics. They bring me back to a very scary time of my life. Zero out of ten. Now we're gonna play uh, uh, this one called uh, What is Yule? How to celebrate Yule, Wicca, make Yule log. I don't even know if that was English. Okay, Yule. What is Yule? I'm done falling. I'm awake now. That's not a Yule Log video. Skipping that one. Okay, so now we got Shrek's Yule Log with the Pied Piper. I hope to see Shrek. Ooh, we got some Pied Piper. We got some uh, Pinocchio. Oh, look at that. He's snake charming the fire. If we don't see Shrek, I will riot. There we go, Pied Piper coming in. He's turning that into a menorah. Doing a little dance jig, jumped out of frame. Was there a cut there? I think there was a cut there, but I'm not gonna. Now he's turning into a Christmas tree.
what's going on next? I want to, gotta see what's happening next. Oh, now it's playing, um, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now they're, ooh, we got Fiona coming in. Ooh, we got the whole cast. We got the fat puss in boots. We got a, this is the Yule Log video. I did not know I needed, but I needed because this is immediately going to be played nonstop on repeat for 10 hours. My next Christmas. I would highly recommend this one, Shrek's Yule Log Pied Piper Scenes for your next uh, holiday adventure. It was a short video. I recommend it. Put it on repeat. Just let it play. Good classic Yule Log with a little bit of comedy. It's CG, which makes me feel horrible, but I could look past it because it's Shrek. I don't think they had actually, I don't think they had Michael Myers' voice for that though. Which makes me feel real gross. Still would recommend it though. All right, so now we got um, Keith Apicary's Yule Log. Ooh, look at that! He's got some funky music. Music by Funto Menke. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this one. Are those Capri Suns? Why does he have Capri Suns out? Oh, is he advertising a strawberry kiwi Capri Sun? What is he doing with that thing? Is he trying to get the straw out? I know it's difficult to get those Capri Suns. Do you say Capri Sun or Capri Sun? Let me know in the comments because I have a friend who says one one way and I say it the other and they're wrong. Just want the world to know. Okay, I don't know if I can watch a man drink Capri Suns for uh, very long. Oh, he just does this. Uh, he really does drink. Oh, he's playing a Game Boy. Oh, he's squirting the Capri Sun out into a uh, chalice of some sort. And he's sucking really hard. This makes me feel gross. I feel like the further we've gotten into these videos, the grosser I feel. And his, ah, not a thing people do unless they're trying to get attention or they're doing some kind of commercial or maybe it's the 90s because it was very cool to go, ah, in the 90s, I did it all the time. Maybe that's why I'm actually so turned off by it. Just thinking about myself as a 10 year old definitely just turns me off. Um. Oh, cool. So he sat here for an hour drinking Capri Suns. It looks relaxing, though. Oh, he's squirting it in his mouth like... That was very disturbing. That looks like some kind of water sports stuff that you find on Craigslist. Not a fan. <clears throat> like, that made me feel dirty in more ways than I could ever describe. Zero out of ten. We need to end this on a, a nice classic Yule Log video here. So I feel like we should finish this up. I'm getting a little tired. It's uh, 12. It's past midnight. Uh... You know, and I, I wanna I wanna be able to get this video up sooner than later so you can enjoy this. You can play this video in the background at your next family gathering. Maybe everyone could huddle up and watch this video and we can see what we agree, disagree on when it comes to Yule Log fireplace videos. And this also gives you some nice variation for all the different types of Yule Log fireplace videos that exist on YouTube. It's a nice kind of a compilation, if you will, and also an opinionated piece that I think will um, benefit every family member from grandchild to grandparent. Uh, I think that Yule Log videos 
are a really great way to bring the whole family together and get a discussion going that's uh, fun and lighthearted, uh, not political whatsoever, but also something that everyone I think can agree is a great gift to the to mankind that that we didn't have you know even 10 decades ago an entire uh, century ago we did not have these yule log videos to enjoy and what a gift to mankind these are so let's finish off uh, let's go with this one this one's two and a half hours bright burning yule log fireplace with crackling fire sounds hd Okay, and this has a annotation here. Subscribe if you like. Uh, looks like a lot of people liked it because it's got 96,000 subscribers. Um, I agree. I like this one a lot. I'm just going to watch it for a second just to get the full feeling here, the full effects of this one. The crackles are nice. They're a little loud. The pop is a little... little It's a little sharp on the ears. More so this one than this. I got I got some earwax jammed in this ear and I can't really hear out of this one. So this ear actually is uh, handling it pretty well, but this ear, not so much. I'm like, Ey! each time I hear it. Ooh, big pop there. That was really nice. That almost looked like a, a firework, which is really, really beautiful. So, as I've been saying this whole time, I feel like a lot of the depth is missing in uh, the, the light color of the fire, a little dark in the dark color of the firewood and the fireplace surrounding. But overall, I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed by this one. They, they managed to get the balance just right where it's not quite too dark uh, along the fireplace and the log, and it's not quite too bright in the fire, because as we know from watching all these videos, it's hard to kind of get that balance of the depth and color between the, the extremely bright and the extremely dark. They don't really go hand to hand, um, sorry, hand in hand when, when, um, when shot like this with uh, the equipment that we have today, at least. Uh, there might be some film quality cameras that exist out there, but I don't think they're consumer level yet. So some consumers really wouldn't be able to uh, get that full color depth, so it's a lot more difficult. Near the beginning of this video, we did find a few um, Yule Log fireplace videos that did have that full variation of color. We could see every single red, orange, yellow, and white, and some blue in the, the color hues of the fire. And we could actually see every single deep crevice in the in the log. We, there were some bricks in those videos where we could see um, all the shading, which was just spectacular, so beautiful. So we do know that it's possible, but this one, this video was uploaded in 2015. So with the technology that was consumer grade at this time, I think this is really the best level, the best quality that you could get at the time. I think if they were to reshoot this today, um, I would actually love to see that because I, I, I'm just like, I don't know if I'm, if I've become more of a fan of Yule Log videos, but I'm definitely a fan of Yule Log videos now and I feel like there's so much variation in them and I would love to see these people. I feel like these people did it right. This, the audio is just perfect. They didn't put any gimmicky music over it. Just, I really want a little bit more depth in the color there. So this one, I'm not surprised. This, this one has a lot of views and I think it's a good one to end on because I think this is the closest to the perfect Yule Log video that we've found today. I'd give this one a perfect 10 out of 10. There is a little bit of room for improvement, but considering it was shot three years ago, perfect 10 out of 10. I'm definitely gonna go check out this channel and see if there's more videos that they've updated more recently with the higher grade uh, technology and cameras that exist now for consumers and hopefully we find some there that are even better in quality but this one nails it all around truly truly good work so we got uh, the user here in case you're wanting to go look this up is fire emoji virtual fireplace TM trademark 
Go look that up. Spectacular video. Overall, all these clips today range from uh, god-awfully horrible, rancidly disgusting, all the way up to just incredibly breathtaking is kind of the, the word that I would use to encompass all of the better, higher level end videos that we've seen today. So I think our takeaway is don't add music, keep it simple, get a close up of the fire, and also make sure to capture that depth. Send me your comments below, let me know if you agree with all my points. Let me know what your favorite Yule Log videos are. Maybe you could describe them. Maybe you could just link to them. I'd love to see your favorites. There's gotta be some good ones out there. And if you wanna see me do more reviews of other things, also let me know. If you watched all the way up to this point, you owe it to yourself. Subscribe and click that notification bell. It would mean a lot to me. And if you watched this much of the video without skipping, you deserve to be subscribed. And also don't forget to comment below, let me know how far you made it into the video. I'm gonna be giving out some prizes that are uh, absolutely and completely valueless for the people that watched the most of the video and can mention the most things that happened in the video that stood out to you. Can't wait to see what you all found. See you later, bye guys. Press away.